Hello everyone, this is Ming Zhong. Welcome to today's market analysis for the S&P 500 Eminence Futures for the session of 8th of October. In this video, I am going to share with you the market recap from yesterday and also potential trade review in the 3 minutes time frame which I will include the entry, the exits and also the rationale behind. And in the video, I will be focusing uh, especially in the market outlook section, uh, I will talk about the, where the market, where the stock market is heading and also possible uh, scenarios for the bearish case and also the bullish case and how do we seek for confirmation. Because we are in a very interesting times at the moment, so I just would like to focus more on the current market condition in this video. So going forward, I will definitely cover the bias, the key levels that I'm watching and also my trading plan for the session later. All right, so let's get started. So as we can see in this daily chart for the S&P 500, yesterday was bullish. So right after the sell off uh, in the previous day and quickly we just see a very quick recovery uh, from yesterday and we just recoup pretty much all the losses that incur on the day before so yesterday was definitely bullish and right now um, the market is currently breaking out so we are just um, right at the resistance level at around 3425 but anyway um, the resistance zone is uh, somewhere from the 3420 to all the way to around 3450 but anyway i will just uh, include a bit more in the later part of the video so first of all let me just go down to the hourly time frame and let's talk about uh, the market recap from yesterday so we can see that um, yesterday uh, was a pretty interesting day because we just see a straight up all the way from the asian session london session throughout the u.s session as well so it's a pretty much a straight trend day straight up day uh, all day long so let me zoom in a bit more so you can see that this sell-off is very threatening especially comes in the spy of the supply level i talk about this actually mimics the sell-off in the few days ago as well but um the bullish Science is actually it just barely tested the previous low. In fact, it created a high low here. And if I just zoom out a little bit here, you can pretty much see the up channel that I just drawn up. So it's pretty much fits nicely within this up channel here. So right after the sell off and in this Asian session, we have seen a very quick recovery and subsequently just a, a horizontal type of the consolidation and then just keep moving up until it kind of tested the immediate support sorry the resistance level at 3380 so that's the level that is testing so just one candle here and that's almost touching and have a reaction subsequently have another attempt but eventually this level doesn't really seems to become a very strong resistance at least for the market right now so we see the breakout straight away followed by a test and then another test uh, in this hourly bar and eventually just move up higher so that's um, how it actually happened for yesterday and right now uh, right after the US session close we are entering into the Asian session it's kind of still grinding up and we just seen another breakout um, from this swing high level and currently have a reaction is unfolding and let me just quickly go down to the three minutes time frame and I would just like to show you some potential trades I mean potential because I wasn't trading or I should say that I just can't find a a decent trade that suits me so I wasn't comfortable to trade so no trading for me during the session all day long and um, before I jump straight in let me just give you a bit of the context 
So here is a sharp sell-off in the day before. Look at the volume, the spy of this volume. So this incredible spy of the volume together with this huge bearish bar. And subsequently, um, when the volatility settled down, and we have seen this kind of the automatic rally, and then eventually just kind of grinding up, and eventually we have formed a bit of the structure here, maybe kind of the rounding as well, cup and handle, break, retest, and eventually um, if we just purely take from this point of view, is a very much straight up trend within the channel and we have this consolidation staircase going up case and let me just quickly drag it to the US session here okay so if you remember in my video yesterday I do talk about um, potential short scenario so if there is a rejection right at the level around 3380 then that could um, become some kind of the short entry but just look at uh, how the price behave so it doesn't really have any kind of the rejection in fact it's uh, accumulation all the way up uh, trading range breakout retest markup and then form another trading range here so I also talk about potential long case if we can just overcome the level. So if I just base this on the um, 33.84 which was the non-RTH high as you can see here. So there's a non-RTH high at around 33.84 and that's in conjunction with the uh, previous resistance or previous support level. Oops. That's the previous support level turn resistance. So I just uh, mentioned that 3380 or somewhere around near 3380 is a good level to watch. And you can see that right after it break and we have an immediate retest. So I was tempted to test the, to, to trade the retest out from this level, but um, just by analyzing uh, the price action together with the volume, I just don't see a lot of edge uh, to my side. So I just uh, skip this trade, but I think it could work out well. At least um, these two candles can form as a reversal type of a candle because here is the context. So we have the breaking out and subsequently grind a bit higher and then have this kind of the reaction or the retracement so this is a uh, quite a decent pullback and eventually followed by a nice reversal so either the first or the second candle can become a entry a long entry but subsequently um there wasn't much upside follow through in fact if you were to stay within the trade after you open up a, a long position here you just need to uh, stay up for another probably two hours just to wait for two hours and hopefully your stop is just right below this swing low otherwise you might get stopped out at this um, this uh, long week here and with a spike of the supply not sure what's happening on that candle maybe some kind of news but anyway in terms of the structure um, we have this uh, kind of the trading range here right after a run up breaking out of this level back test and this retracement is actually in a trading range so the other um, possible trade is somewhere around here so that's about maybe 1 30 a.m in my time zone so around 1 30 p.m uh, in the new york time so I think um, in terms of the setup, um, it could become a very uh, nice long entry because that's how the volatility settle. You can see that this is just a pretty much a trading range and we have the shallow type of the retracement and then followed by a grinding up. So the volatility has settled down and 
reflected in the candle as well. So this could be a minor sign of strength together with the uh, retracement or the pullback. So anything that breaks out from here could be a nice long entry. So this portion that I just highlighted in orange color could be uh, the long entry. So subsequently, uh, depending how you manage a trade, you probably can catch this nice move up. So overall, I think um, it's still tradable for uh, yesterday. And depending uh, on your trading strategy, but for me, I just uh, skipped the very first the reversal type of the trade. Even I were to enter the trade, I think I would just end up as probably just a minor profit or break even because it's just going nowhere for at least about two hours. All right. So that's the trade review. Let me just go back to the hourly time frame and let's talk about the current market condition or the market outlook. Because um, in, in this section, I would like to uh, elaborate a bit more on the current market condition. Um, the bearish case and the bullish case and actually where is the stock market is heading to? I think it's a big question right now, especially um, just we just been a bit uh, within a one month, uh, 3rd of November is the US election. So it's just uh, less than one month uh, is going into the US election. So we'll be witnessing quite a lot of the uh, volatility uh, in the election day, uh, just like the last uh, election. But anyway, um, just based on the current uh, price structure, I think it's just kind of form a very interesting structure, especially in this part here. So I just uh, mark this up with a uptrend channel. So the context is we just have a descending wage followed by a breaking out. So this could be a sign of strength rally. And subsequent up channel is kind of acted as a uh, backup action or the pullback but in the trading range in the up sloping trading range so if this is a structure itself then we just think that um, sign of strength rally from the buying climax automatic reaction and then followed by a secondary test so it has a test in phase b another test in phase b as well and subsequently we have this interesting uh, sharp sell off could it be phase C um, to be determined or to be confirmed at a moment so if this were uh, phase C then this could be the sign of strength rally and if this is a sign of strength rally what I would like to see is some kind of the confirmation for the bullish case because um, right now if we just take a, a look here I think that's probably the base of the accumulation and we just have the sign of strength rally breaking out right here and then form this kind of the backing up action in the up sloping structure so if we were to see this breakout happen uh, which is currently uh, I think in progress right now so we just uh, broke out from this immediate swing high level at 3420 currently is doing some kind of the pullback so um, for the bullish case, what I would like to seek is actually the confirmation. So we just think that if I just think this is a sign of strength rally, then the next move could be the backing up action or the pullback. So I would like to see some kind of the shallow pullback. So in this range, we have seen this kind of the pullback, another pullback and this is kind of acted as a maybe second point of fear um, definitely a lot of threatening price action but um, we have seen a higher low so the pullback should be shallow and unlike the previous pullback that we have seen it's a bit sharp and with this kind of the magnitude so if we can have uh, has this kind of the shallow pullback maybe um, up to around 3400 or even can just go back to around 3380 
so just consolidate a bit before you're moving up further so let me just uh, give you a wider view or the zoom out view in a four hourly time frame okay so you can see that right now definitely this is 3420 uh, is a resistance level and 3450 is another level and subsequent level is about 3480 so if it's a sign of strength for the bullish case I would like to see this kind of the shallow pullback and followed by a confirmation going up here so the breakout could confirm more upside and in this case uh, I think we will have chance to see S&P 500 to go back to test the all-time high around 3600 level and yeah so this is uh, what I uh, am hoping hoping for and if it turns out to become bearish case so what I would like to see is some kind of a failure so in terms of what I explained earlier on is the bullish case I would like to see shallow type of the reaction but in in a bearish case especially uh, we have a lot of the um, negative news around and is easily can just uh, push the market down whether it's the COVID news economic data or some kind of the uh, stimulus package uh, money printing this kind of thing that will be enough to shake the market and what's more we still have the election US election coming up so definitely is um, a lot of news to watch out so the first thing that uh, I think it need to fail is definitely it go back down again and also to test this 3300 level so to me uh, so far 3300 to 3320 is a very important supporting level or area has been tested quite a few times you can see this is acted as a access line tested quite a few times uh, whether it's in a support or resistance or turn support again so the first level it needs to break is the 3300 level to become bearish so for bearish case definitely need to break the 3300 level maybe followed by a weak rally up and subsequently have another test of the ultimate defense level 3200 level so if 3200 level fail then definitely we go into bearish case it will just go down to test a uh, lower support area so 3300 level is the first thing that i would like to see to break followed by 3200 level so anything above 3200 level i'm still bullish because it can still bounce up from here and form a larger trading range from here on to um, for for building up more courses for the accumulation to go up further but if it fails and break below 3200 level then definitely we'll see um, it six uh, the support at the lower level maybe 3100 or even at this line here about 2900 level so pretty much is right within this range here so this is how I uh, look at the market so far my bias is to the upside because I think it's quite possible to see a acceleration to the upside or, or maybe not a acceleration but at least some kind of the movement up when we have seen this kind of the successful backing up action followed by a breakout then definitely we have chance to see S&P to test higher ground or even the all-time high level all right so um, for the later part of the session then my trading plan is pretty much to monitor for a reversal trade um, first level is still 3380 and obviously right now is forming a, a resistance level right here so I will just need to see whether I have some kind of the possible rejection or short entry to the downside but the immediate support level is at 3380 so look, watch out for possible reversal at the key support levels all right so this is the end of the video hope you enjoyed it and get something useful out from the video so if you like the video just click like and also over to my channel or name to follow me and subscribe to my channel all right 
and if you have any kind of the questions suggestions or trade ideas you like to share with me and feel free to comment it below i will definitely reply to you and thanks for watching i will talk to you soon bye bye